In this video, we're gonna go over how to manually process a renewal payment with WooCommerce subscriptions. So with WooCommerce subscriptions, you may have a couple different reasons to manually process a renewal payment, whether it's you know their billing schedule got messed up, the customer wants to ship it now, or you're just um, trying to fix something on a customer subscription. So let's jump into it, but first, if you're new here, make sure to give me that like, give me that subscribe if you get value out of this video and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So I have this Charlie's Coffee site and now if I go to my WordPress WooCommerce dashboard and I go to WooCommerce subscriptions and I'm going to click into this Randy Moss subscription. So this Randy Moss subscription whatever the use case may be the next payments not until you know january 12th so not for a while but i can easily process a new renewal if i would like so for example i want to process a renewal just by going to these subscription actions and do process renewal so i'm going to do that awesome so after manually processing the renewal payment i can see that a new renewal order was created right right hit down here if I click into this order I can see that it's processing and um, everything went through so you'll see this like stripe payment um, intent if you're using WooCommerce payments or stripe payments but on some other payment processors you might get an error so someone's credit card might be not be updated or something might also be you know ron so what you could also do there is you could go click into the order and this order is processing so we have nothing to worry about but you could click into the order and do retried failed payments you can't see it right here but you could click into that failed order and click retried failed payments so as another example let me go back to the subscription and i'm going to do this create pending renewal order um, action so i'm just going to do that real quick because this will kind of give you guys an example what maybe your screen looks like so if you know once i did this create pending renewal order you guys saw that this is pending payment right so if i click into this order i can see that now the subscription's on hold right because this order is pending payment and now I could click into these order actions and do retry renewal payment. So you might have to click retry renewal payment. So let me do that. And after doing this, the subscription will update back to active. So I'm gonna retry the renewal payment. Awesome, so after retrying the renewal payment, um, everything went through. And now I'm gonna do even another example. If I click into this, this subscription again, and I'm gonna do create um, pending renewal order and I'm gonna create the pending renewal order and once again it's gonna be pending payment so you know eventually if something's not going right maybe the customers payment fails or whatever the use case could be I could still you know use the user switching plugin and I'll link that in the description box below but I could switch to this customer go to their orders and I can see that there's an option to manually pay for it. So if you're having issues with a subscription, um, you could use this to um, switch to the customer and go through the checkout process as your customer. And so let's say I try this payment method. Awesome, so after you know using their current payment method or I might have to get the customer's new payment method because they might have multiple on their subscription or in their My Account, I, um, you know could could do that to renew their subscription so after that i can switch back to myself as the admin and then go to back to the dashboard so before i close out this tutorial i just want to be upfront that stripe is very good about you know if someone's customers like credit card expires they're going to be on top of that just with like how well at least in my experience um, they are with that it just seems like they're always updating it um, and even when you're going to, you know, one of the other benefits that I see is that if someone's updating their payment method right here, 
they give this option to update the payment method used for all my active subscriptions. Some payment methods don't do that. So um, things can get hairy if a customer adds a new payment method, but they don't apply it to their subscription. So that's just something to watch out for. And now I'm gonna switch back and go back to my subscriptions. So once again, the process of renewal, it's super simple um, and something that I think you should get comfortable with. You can click this process renewal right here, or you can um, create a pending renewal order if you're trying to you know, create an order that's pending payment on the subscription. And then you, know, you can go into this order and you can you know, email it to the customer or you can retry the renewal payment as well. So using the retry renewal payment is clutch with an order that has failed. So that's it for today, guys. If you got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and all the links can be found in the description box below. And check out some more of my WooCommerce subscriptions videos. Maybe give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.